Hi, I'm Molly with Design Loves Detail. I am um, sharing today some shelf styling tips. Be sure to subscribe below and hit the bell so you guys will be notified of my next post as well. Um, today I wanted to kind of focus on a little formula for um, how to get your shelves looking nice and zen, I would say, because a lot of times uh, the stuff that ends up on our shelves is maybe stuff that we don't even love, but it just kind of makes its way there. And I do like eclectic things sometimes. However, when you kind of unify uh, the items on your shelves, it can give your whole home a more zen feel, which is what I think a lot of us are after. So um, starting here, um, this is in my office. These are the built-ins in my front office. And I wanted to keep it very neutral here with a little bit of um, the whites and cream tones, a little bit of the natural um, that you see in the wood here and then in this woven box and up there. Uh, and mix kind of just those subtle differences in color to, to kind of put together this whole palette. So the first step is going to be selecting kind of a color scheme that you wanna work with. And don't feel like you have to run to the store and buy all new stuff. A lot of times you have items in your home. In fact, um, these books that I love to use, uh, they're actually ones that have less attractive um, jackets on them. And then I just took those off. And so a lot of times you'll have books that are more neutral um, without that little shiny covering on it. And I don't think it's necessary um, to have that. So I just tossed them um, so that I could have a more unified, simple look. So after you've kind of picked your colors here, I'm using, like I mentioned, the um, white cream, a little bit of gray and a little bit of the natural wood tones. Um, then you want to kind of disperse those items throughout. So for instance, if you take all the items here that are in that wood tone or this natural finish, um, I've done one here, one here and up there. So your eye kind of follows that and moves through. That's what you want. Um, is kind of a cohesive feel where the color ties all the way through. And then um, with the whites, um, you can see here's the bright white and the bright white and the bright white. Same thing, you kind of almost go for like a little bit of a zigzag pattern. It moves your eye through nicely. Um, and then I brought in, this is actually like gonna be kind of the focal point will be like this color because it's different from um, the others. I did bring in a little bit of gray here and there, but this is gonna be kind of the most different color. So pick something that you love. This is um, a pot I recently got and I just love how it has that raw, natural, um, concrete type feel to it. So it was a good focal point for this one. And then um, lastly, let's see, is kind of the cream tone. This bone box and then they actually have a ball um, that's with that bone inlay as well. Um, I love that as a texture. I will link um, some of those ideas for you as well. And then usually too, when you have this, um, this lower shelf is a little bit more space than the upper ones. So you can have a little bit larger items there. Sometimes it's really fun, like I did over here. We'll hop over to this side. So like I have here, I've got shelving on that side and then also here. A lot of times you guys may have the similar situation where you have two bookshelves or even sometimes three uh, and you kind of want to keep some cohesive elements throughout. So that wood tone, that light wood tone that I used over there, I also brought here with this and then that pot up there so that the overall look still ties together as well. Um, again, I still kept um, some similar white um, tones with a little bit of the natural and you can see I almost um, kind of even zigzagged from over here because if you follow the um, wood tone there, over there, you know, you can kind of go back and forth between the two. And then um, again with the white books, I love white books and you can also find these at like thrift stores um, or sometimes in the Walmart clearance book section. You know, just look, just peek what is underneath those jackets and you can sometimes find some really good ones. And I will also repeat books, like if I find a really good deal on one, I'll get multiple of the same because it looks really good on the shelf. Um, and, and again, you can use stuff you already have. You may already have some books that are neutrals and that is great. Um, I love to bring in natural elements. Like I brought um, just this stone, um, using it as a bookend. You can also bring any, really any item to use as a bookend. Uh, it doesn't have to be what you would traditionally um, see as, or what is marketed as a bookend. You can use, honestly, just about any item. Up there, for instance, I used a pitcher on that top shelf. It's kind of acting as a bookend for uh, 
for that space. In terms of styling items, um, I like to have a lot of variation and interest. So one of the, my favorites to use are, and you guys have probably seen this if you follow me on Instagram, um, these like beads up here. I've got a bunch of different kinds of those. There's some with, that are made of bone. These are made of um, like a tumbled glass and these are like 12.50 a strand. So they're really not bad and they add a little bit of color. Um, over here I've got the um, wood beads you can see and uh, they are another way to kind of add interest and a little bit of movement. You can kind of shift them around so that, that it doesn't feel so static. And then, um, oh, here's another place where I use kind of an unconventional item for a bookend. That is a candle holder um, and I use those for bookends. Um, quite often actually. So those are a few of my kind of favorites. I do always love white pieces like this. Um, just keeps a really clean palette. And then this one up here is actually from Walmart. That's like a Walmart find. I think it's like $16. Uh, so I will be sure to link all these products for you guys so you can get the same look as well. So over here, I also use these stacking boxes. I love, um, I love these in general, but also it helps balance on the other side where I used bone box and a woven box um, to kind of pull the same shapes on either side for, for some symmetry. And also the books are another way that I kind of have tied in either side.